Uh, what? Microsoft's retiring what? Alerts? Okay, they're, so they're retiring the old school classic alerts. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, use rules. Okay, so rules was the replacement. Oh, I should have seen the writing on the walls when rules came out that I needed to transition to rules and not stay on classic alerts. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Microsoft is canceling, retiring, pulling the plug, pulling it off life support, whatever you want to call it. Alerts are going away. If you want to know how to recover and change it over to rules, stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Okay, let's get that clock rolling. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your happy dappy list and you're gonna go in here to the automate and you'll be like, all right, well, let's go ahead and just create the rule. We'll handle the canceling the alert later. We go ahead and create rule and we wanna make sure we know something changed. So we're gonna click on item is modified. We're gonna say always just go ahead and send an email, send an email to, I don't know, the person who created it. And we could say, you know, woot, okay? And then create and then boom, there you go. So now you've got the rule. Pretty quick to create a rule that is going to fire off and send a notification to whatever email address you want if anything in that item or file changes. All right, so let's pull back a little bit. Let's slow it down. Before we do, thank you so much. We hit 4,000 subscribers a few weeks ago. We're on our way to 5,000. Thank you so much. Your likes, shares, and subscribes help the channel immensely, help us keep this thing going so we can provide great content. All right, so here's the dealio. Uh, yeah, so remember a few years ago when rules just came out of nowhere? It's like, okay, here's rules. And you're like, whoa, this looks oddly similar to alerts, but alerts has like a certain flavor and style that I kind of dig. You know, so you kind of had two for a while. You could choose your flavor or you could combine them. Well, 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 now Microsoft has announced they're going to be retiring alerts. That is right. Alerts are getting retired. Alert, alert, retirement alert. Okay, so you got rules. That's the easiest thing. Power Automate, if rules doesn't work for you, you're going to have to pop into Power Automate. That's a whole nother video. So let's explore the whole rule scenario. Um, you know what? Before we do that, I will show you, you know, if you want to delete the alerts, you know, after you create the rule, you go to Manage My Alerts, and then you're going to find, you're going to look for, you're going to, there you go. It'll be there. You can select it. You can delete it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so there's, there's how you you know, examine those alerts and delete those alerts. So let's go back to our rules scenario. So rules can be found under the automate dropdown. It's the same for a list or library. So we're going to go to automate and we're going to go to rules and we can create, we can manage. Let's go ahead and create. And we just created one here that would fire off, send an email and a message if something got modified. Now, there is an extra piece here. You can actually look at a column. So the default here is if a column changes, the new value is X, send an email to whatever you want, and you can add a message. But if you want it to fire off all the time, just switch it to always. All right, simple enough. Let's go back. A new item is created. So before in the classic, or as it is in classic alerts, you can set uh, a rule up for if anything at all changes, even if you make the change, um, a new item added, item gets deleted, item gets changed. You can't do date approaches, but that's a whole nother scenario. So now if you had one that you had firing off for anything, you know, item uh, added, modified or deleted, now you're gonna have to create three separate rules. Oh joy. Okay, so new item is created. Always or if you can go if. Okay, let's just explore always. Let's finish always. Always send an email to whatever email address. All right, cool. So let's look here at the if condition. So when a new item is created, if a particular column is X, then send an email. So it only fires off 
if a particular column has a particular value. All right, again, simple enough. Now we're moving on to item is deleted. So we can say when an item is deleted, send an email. That one's super duper straightforward. Uh, I do recall you were able to fire off an alert based off of uh, items changing in a particular view with the classic alerts. I don't see that here in rules. Maybe it's coming. Um, or maybe you have to use Power Automate. And then the final one here, which I will say is if you go to learn more and you look for this whole date approaches, you're not going to see it. Um, this might be a preview feature. I am on targeted release. Uh, but, you know, I see minor differences between, you know, text that's here and what you see here on the uh, learn more page. That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead to date approaches. So here we've got a certain number of days before a date approaches. Mind you, this is not going to work for you if you do not have your own custom date column. So in my example, I have a custom date column, warranty expiration date. Before I added said column, uh, I got a little notice saying you can't do this unless you have a custom date column. So you can't base it off of like one of the system date columns like created, modified, et cetera, et cetera. All right, going back here, we're going to finish out this rule create the rule when a date approaches. So we want to know like 30 days out from the warranty expiration, send an email. There you go. Boom. This one appears to not have the uh, feature where you can add a little note. So you just get a, uh, an email 30 days prior to that particular date, whatever date is in that column. There you go. Have fun uh, switching all of your classic alerts over to rules and power automate. Um, Say that with a little sarcasm, but uh, hopefully you can still have some fun regardless. All right, with that, thank you again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, do the best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah.